Welcome back. You're still watching Waze. On 11th January every year, National Human Trafficking Awareness Day is observed to raise awareness about the plight of the victims and the practices that can be maintained in order to save these lives. This day is dedicated to raising awareness, tightening security and ensuring that people are not trafficked. It also helps us to understand the plights of the victims and empathize with them and help them get back to a regular life. This is definitely applaudable, Absolutely. human trafficking day. Absolutely, mm. and I think it's one of the worst things that could uh, have, it's one of the worst crimes in human history, right. you know. And it's been going on for so long that you would imagine that we, the world evolving, humans evolving, with our mm -hmm. level of enlightenment, that things like this should have been eradicated. But sadly, I mean, this still is so prevalent in some parts of the world, even yeah. in cities. It's not just happening in remote places, mm -hmm. you know. So, yes, I, I do commend the efforts, you know, to shed more light on this and then to also, most importantly, um, understand that um, when, pe when victims, you know, survive this and they come back, it's not the time to shame them or to make them feel less of who they are or to yeah. remind them of this sordid experience. Rather, it is a time to empathize and then bring them back into the fold and show them all the love. And I also think that it is, um, it is awareness to also let us not... Um, imagine that this is not happening because it is happening it is real you yes know? and um anytime we find the opportunity or i mean if we're just in some way privy you know to knowing that i mean this is happening in any quarter mm -hmm. i think it's um we should find it in uh, we should make it our responsibility you know to alert the authorities or in many ways you know, help the victims as much as we can without necessarily, you know, putting ourselves in arms way. You know? yeah. yeah. Someone said that until we're able to find poverty, that it would almost be impossible to stop human trafficking because most of these things, but organ trafficking, human trafficking, it is inspired by need. Mm. Mm. Um, but yeah. That's a different angle to it. I mean, absolutely, it's... absolutely. But again, I, I may not necessarily agree a hundred percent on that because again at the some some in some quarters the, at the it's business for some people mm -hmm. you know they just um see it as an opportunity not necessarily okay so i would say that for for the ones in poverty they see it as an avenue to say okay you know what if i can do this then maybe some, what i get whatever reward i get from that i can mm -hmm. use it to help you know other people but there are just some people who do it just for the fun of i can do it you know again to feed their greed hmm. it's a thriving market it's a black market it's a thriving market and there is billions of i mean dollars in this worldwide so some people just do this just because you know what i can get away with it right you know well either way today is you know it's dedicated to human trafficking awareness and we're grateful for that and of course we constantly point it out here or wherever that we can uh, that it is we do not encourage it human yeah. trafficking is one of the worst crimes you absolutely. can ever do to a fellow human being absolutely right absolutely. all right moving on we're looking at what we found in the news um, okay. back to you Jola yeah. <laughs> what did you find in the news today you know that's fine I mean okay so this one is a story that I I woke up to say in mm -hmm. my alumni group and okay. um of course, I mean, it was just a snippet, so I had to, I was wondering what it was all about, and um, it's an unfortunate news, very sad name, considering the fact that it's just the beginning of a new year. Mm -hmm. um, it's an, a female banker kills herself in Lagos, mm -hmm. and um, this she did, um, she's, well, she's a marketing employee of one of the banks, you know, in Nigeria, and she, she committed suicide at her workplace. Yeah. You know, and the sad thing um, is, um, you know, she left a suicide note and um, what she said was um, that um, nothing was working in her life. Her figures are low. Her brain is clogged up. The economy is getting harder. She has made wrong decisions. Her mind is messed up. The future doesn't seem bright at all. She sees extreme hardship and she can't bear the pain anymore. And then she, she wrote to apologize to her parents or her yeah. family. For me, I, I, I truly felt that, you know, um, 
over the course of i mean this new year and when i was writing what um i was grateful for in fact i i think i shared that on my on the ways um special episode mm -hmm. in december to say that one of the things that i was most grateful for in 2023 was that um, hope spoke for me louder than despair i get where she's coming i, I mean i get it mm -hmm. it really doesn't seem like there is light anywhere i get it and especially if you don't truly have a support system that can help you see beyond the darkness it is so easy to just stay under the water and just imagine that it's so peaceful mm. there but again I, I i i don't know i as as sad as i feel i honestly can't say that suicide is actually the answer because i mean life is, is so valuable it's life so is precious. so precious you just don't you know, give it away or lose hope like that yes but again i mean i'm not wearing her shoes and you know it, it or for us on the other side, it's, it's just easy to say, okay, you know what, she shouldn't have done that, or she should But again, you know, sometimes you have to be in that situation to truly, and then sometimes you just don't know. You just do the first thing that just. Yeah. You know. And I think this, this reminds me of a certain experience that I was having a conversation. I was in a salon, and mm -hmm. we were having this conversation about people. And I remember the lady weaving someone someone's hair said ah you put with the end salary you know life better we when they do business and so and i remember i went i was silently just listening to the conversation i'm waiting for for my turn because i was deep conditioning my hair and then the lady said when she made that statement the other one said ah don't don't think like that so don't think that because we have a certain amount of money coming in every week you could be way richer in than death. i am absolutely you know absolutely. so the fact that you see all the makeup and all the heels yeah. to let you, know, you think that life is perfect because when you see her working in a bank you walk in you came to deposit your money exactly. and you're thinking ah, oh. she must have life good she absolutely. works in a bank she absolutely. sits on the ac the entire day and you think life is perfect but frankly it is not always it like that not. so it let us not. be kind and considerate to people to other hu other humans because you never really know people's story and absolutely. it's really sad she had to resort to suicide absolutely absolutely really sad absolutely. all right so this is what i found in the news now over the past couple of days there has over the past couple of days there has been this release or that is just very controversial mm -hmm. updates on uh the life of prophet tv joshua obviously mm -hmm. he died a couple years ago and there has been a documentary released by the bbc saying okay several allegations of um of, of, of allegations of torture rape perpetrated by by him and a lot of people several women some former church members including his daughter has come out to say oh look this and this is what happened i'm testifying that this actually happened so far the church hasn't exactly given the word but the news right now is that multi-choice has removed um has given the sig a notification that they're going to take away the channel Emmanuel TV from their uh -huh. platform and it's not just multi-choice other cable networks and pay TV networks uh, Cables are going to take out the channel. So um, People are arguing isn't that a bit too harsh given that the fact that these are allegations and Nothing has I mean he's not alive to defend himself and you can't exactly say he's guilty or not guilty. So uh, Well, uh, okay, so my own personal honestly personal opinion about that is um these allegations have been going on for years mm -hmm. as far back as about 24 years ago and um the fact that um i i really didn't follow any of you know the stories as i, I mean as far back as then to know if some of them you know went to court or you know they were just um just talks you know regular mm -hmm. but again um i am mindful of the fact that in Nigeria, it is very hard to to get um, sometimes. Let, let me use the word. Or let, let me say, pardon me if I use this word to get justice for certain things mm -hmm. in Nigeria. And um, one of the things that I would say is, is one of the hardest things to prove or to get justice for in Nigeria is rape. I mean, that's 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 because you practically have the least you, evidence. E exactly, yes. and I think the only time we have such public outcry is probably when it happens to children, really, really minor children, mm -hmm. you know. 
but um outside of that you know when people talk we we, we tend to think people are just talking for the sake of talking whether female whether male you mm -hmm. know a lot of people are victims that have mm -hmm. never seen any light of justice now um as for him and you know his own um organization church and all that mm -hmm. i i know that i mean as far back as when i was in uni you know this the, there's always been some scandal some talk some this some that and all that now um this coming back to um to the four now and for dstv or multi-choice taking on the decision they made you must also understand that um again people are getting very the voice of the people is very strong mm -hmm. and they're in the business of people you know so if they feel like okay this thing this is what their audience is saying they want to in some way appeal or want to be seen to appeal to their audience mm. again i mean who knows it must have been a management decision so if they feel like they have enough for them to feel okay you know what we need to take this off our channels it's their decision will they, i mean they must have think about thought about it i'm guessing know, no one so. wants to be associated with scandal exactly so right especially that is religious scandal religious scandal yeah. yes it's always super controversial Messy. yeah all right those are the news or the stories that we found for you in the news today we'll go on a break and when we come back we get into our topic for today stay with us